loves. So I'm going to be creating this modern Egyptian look for my submission in the NYX Face Awards. I'm using a luminous primer to give myself a pretty glow at the end of the entire look. And I'm using the darkest brown eye pencil that I have to get my brows really, really dark. So I'm just filling it in here. And then I'm going to use a concealer close to my skin tone. And I'm just going to outline and clean up my brows. So as you can see, I'm just cleaning around it and blending it outwards. And it's going to be the same thing for under my brows. And I'm going to use that same color concealer and I'm going to apply it all over my face for the start of giving me a full coverage look. For my eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using NYX's Proof It Eyeshadow Primer and I'm just going to apply it all over my lids and just blend it out and smooth it out the best I can. Using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, I'm going to apply that on my lids and this is going to allow my colors to pop more and look more vibrant. I'm going to be using two light brown colors for my transition color and I'm going to apply it only to the upper part of my lids. I'm outlining where my dark shadow is going to be and then using the brown and black shadow, I'm going to be creating a crease across my actual crease. And then I'm going to take that shadow and blend it upward into my brow at the very beginning of the shadow. Okay, so now the eyes are going to have two different looks so the process is not going to be the same anymore. Using NYX's Prismatic Shadow, I'm going to be using the color Savage and I'm going to put that in the dark areas of that shadow and blend it upward into my eyebrow. Using a very light blue, I'm going to be blending that closer to the crease of the eyeshadow. I'm going to be using a blue liquid liner and I'm going to be adding that to the shadow as well to give myself a little bit more variation of blue tones. Using NYX's Prismatic Eyeshadow in the color Liquid Gold, I'm going to apply that under my brow bone. And then I'm going to clean up my cut crease using a black liquid eyeliner. Using NYX's Eyeshadow Base in the color Skin Tone, I'm going to be cleaning up my cut crease. Using the same gold shadow, I'm going to be applying that to the lower part of my eyelids and only on the inner corner. I'm going to be using these two hot pink colors and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my eyelid. I'm going to use this deep purple color and I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eyelids and blend it into that pink shadow. Of course, this look requires a lot of cleaning up, so I'm just going back in and cleaning up that crease, and then I'm actually creating my wing, and I want a dramatic wing for this look, so that's what I'm creating there. Doing a little more cleanup here, so I'm going to be using that same blue liquid liner, and I'm going to apply that to the upper part of my crease, and I'm going to blend it out with some of that blue shadow. Using that same concealer, I'm going to be cleaning up my wing liner and the inner corner of my brows. In the same two hot pink colors, I'm going to be applying that to the top part of my crease and I'm going to blend that out very well. Just tidying up that crease with some of that black and brown shadow. Now applying some of this liquid gold to that brow bone. Okay, using the liquid liner again, I'll be cleaning up my crease and I'm just trying to intensify it and make it really black and neat. Using the blue liquid liner, I'm applying it right under that black liner and I'm making it a little bit thicker than the black so I can have that illusion of the double cut crease. And I'll be adding on this blue shadow just to give it the same color as the other eye. I'm using all of the same colors for both eyes. Same as the last eye, I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base to just clean up my lid so that way I can apply my shadow. And for this eye, I'm going to be applying the liquid gold to the entire bottom part of my lid. And I must say, this gold is so pretty and so shimmery. And it just goes on so easy. It's like butter. It just glides on. And now I'm creating my wing. And what I did for both eyes is I actually attached the black liner from the top and bottom. And it's time for that cleanup. Cleaning up these brows and cleaning up that eyeliner. Now I'm going to apply foundation to my entire face 
and because at the beginning of the tutorial I applied that concealer it's gonna have some very great coverage so I'm just gonna blend that all the way in with my makeup sponge Using NYX's Liquid Highlighter, Away We Glow, in the color Golden Hour, I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones, and that's going to give me a natural glow. For highlighting, I apply concealer under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, and under my chin. And I use a very light color, something I don't normally use to give me an extra brightness. I'm using this very chocolatey colored foundation stick to contour with and I'm just applying that to my cheekbone areas and my nose. Now that the blending of the contouring is done, I'm going to set my highlighted areas with some translucent setting powder. Using the chocolatey covered face powder, I'm going to apply that where I already contoured and I'm going to pack on a lot. I want to intensify the contour and make it look really deep. Using a yellow tone face powder, I'm going to blend out everything and I use a yellow tone because everything else is more on the pink side and I want everything to be evened out. I don't want to look yellow or red. I'm baking in these areas just a little to boost the highlight. I'm bringing out that eyeliner to the outer corners of my eye to give me that nice triangle pointed look using a black eyeliner pencil and I'm just applying that to my waterline tracing out the design under my eye with a flat angle brush and some gel liner and then I'm gonna take some liquid eyeliner and go ahead and create the design after this trace For this part of the design, I just went in with the liquid liner. I didn't use the gel liner. I wanted to see which one I liked better and which way was easier for me. So I'm back at it with tracing with the gel liner. So that way was much easier for me. So I did learn a few things recording this look for you. For rhinestones, I went ahead and applied some eyelash glue with the back of my tweezers and then I took my tweezers and applied the rhinestones to where the glue is. It sticks really well, it doesn't come off unless you pull it off and that doesn't hurt either. <laughs> Applying some golden brown bronzer to the contoured areas, the darker areas to give me that glow. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply some highlighter to the highlighted areas to give me some glow. I'm just glowing everywhere, y'all. <laughs> Using a gold lip pencil, I'm gonna be outlining my lips with it and I'm also gonna be filling it in before I apply the gold lipstick. going to be applying black lipstick to the center bottom of my lip and then I'm going to use blue liquid liner to outline that and then I'm going to clean it up again with the black lipstick. I'm cleaning my upper lashes by applying some black mascara to get that shadow off so I can have a pure black look when I apply the lashes and I'm also going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes as well. Once you finish applying your lashes, set your makeup with some setting spray and you'll be an Egyptian goddess.